Hello. So uh, we're starting a complete tutorial based demonstration of uh, next generation sequencing data analysis. One of the major part of that is single cell data analysis in next generation platforms. And in the single cell platforms, one of the popular one is RNA-seq data. So RNA sequencing data can be analyzed using multiple platforms. And one of them is Python program-based, and another one is R program-based. Jira is trying to come in the front, but it's not much till now. So on the purpose of building the entire tutorial as elaborately as possible and with every step so that anyone can just go through the tutorial and understand every bit of it and can reproduce, that's very important. Uh, we are going to demonstrate everything with time and step by step. All the tutorials will be demonstrated in Python-based multiple platform um, environment. For example, you'll we'll be doing SCBA, BARS-based SCANPI, SCBI, and they are associated different packages. And in R based programming in R Studio, I'll be demonstrating the Surat package step by step on throughout the time. So, the first part of everything is to understand the data format and then loading the data. A perfect loading is one of the baseline to actually start the analysis. Most of the data are saved in end data format. So, what it is actually? So, in the end data format, what we are uh, getting the data is in a, an annotated data format, which is a structured high dimensionally with multiple aspects. So the data is stored in different uh, for uh, different dimensionalities. For example, gene expression could be in the in a X for um, uh, X slot within the data matrix could have the cell metadata in observation. We can have the variability of gene metadata, observation and variability matrices could be in multidimensional annotations. So when these files are coming in different formats, we need to load them and look at this sparse formats data or sparse matrix data. And to do so, first we need to learn how to basically load these data sets. And as the very first of that, we'll import the package. For example, a purpose in here is to load, use and load the data set using the ScanPay platform. So what you do, we import ScanPay as SC. And then we also import the end data because data is essentially in the end data form. So we have imported this package. Now, 
the data could be stored in different format. Let us go through. So if you look at in here, data are in different format. If we use cell ranger and you got this, the different matrices files, barcodes, genes, and matrix files. So this could be compartmentalized data. And then this entire thing could be compiled into one matrix format, like .h5 format or .h5 ad format. And we want to load, load this data and analyze them. So to do that, what do you need to do? First, we need to use certain functionality. For example, we want to add data and we call it. We want to load this compartmentalized data now. So, for example, we name it as PBMC. Then we start see what is scan fee. And then we go for read, let's call 10x. And this data are in matrix format. So we want them to load it on matrix format. Take this entire folder. Let's see. And then I get it. And let's go. Let's see. Let's see what it is. So this data set has been loaded. And you can see the observation and number of variable points here. So this is loaded. So the next part is that when the data are divided right, or compartmentalized like this, this will be the scan the default function to load the file. Now, the next part is if your data is not like this, for example, your data are in different form. So this tree has compiled into one dot h5 format and you want to read this. So to do so and to read this file, what we will do? That's for BPMC. H5. So you want to read the H5 format. So SC dot read and that's for then X is for H5. Then we copy it. Let's see. And then file is loaded. You can see a lot of data inside this. It's an arbitrary, so we expect a lot. It's done. Now, for example, your data is in dot H5 
AB format. You can see in here, so it's CF data is a dot H file AD format. So what do you do? So if the data is in H5 AD format, so like this. Hmm. So it's not working. Like so this is not okay. Let's try it. Huh? Let's go H5 AD format. So this format it works, and we can see this data have a lot of processing is already done on this data. So the next ones. These will be the common formats of data that will be acquired throughout the time when you want to analyze your data. But sometimes when you go to the geo and people don't submit these actual the raw data or H585, for God's sake, they know why they don't do it. And during that time, you may get some files like .txt. With this specific geo sample number. So to read these .txt files, what you have to do? Go in here. Let's go geo. I see. Simply do it is that we want this to read as a text file. And it reads it. So you can get the readings of your file from here. Now, the next part is that, for example, we don't see even dot txt file we have only the dot csv file and we want to load and read it and you don't need to actually to use any of these scan the package for that you just use your excel package to read this file or standard practice in there there's no need of that so either way the Data format we have in here is mostly provided when we are we want to analyze our sequencing data. And data are provided is really as a compartmentalized one, like barcodes, genes, and matrices, or As you see, let me revise it. If your data is provided as a three compartmentalized barcode genes and matrices, you use Tanx MTX to load your data. Second, if your data is provided or generated using Cell Ranger as .h file, so you use this 10x underscore h5. And if your data is processed, and most of the time after processing, I myself also we save it as h5 ad format, like this data set. And we read that h5 ad format. We've seen there's a, so many processing we have already done here. And this data sees, we can you read underscore H580. And if you have sometimes in geo, 
you have the text format file so you can use the read underscore text format files to read the dot txt files and this is the way you will be loading your data if you want to use any scampy or scb or any other platform scb has some own command also but a scampy works absolutely fine with that so you don't need to actually learn many packages you just follow this and it will be done so that's all for today i hope it will be it was helpful and i can put it in github or kaggle for your flexibility that's all have a good day